And right here you can observe the Chinese water pump in its natural habitat, pushing the liquid of life through silicone tubes in a food grade bucket. And in truth, this is not something that anybody wants to admit, you know, mistakes. But when I got the laser, you know, everybody said, get a flow meter. But I thought, hey, you know, I got a better idea. I'm going to go ahead and keep the return hose above the water line, and I'm going to be able to see it and hear it if it stops. Unfortunately, that is a bad idea. And that's pretty much what I'm making this video, because I see this recommended all over the place. And it's not good for your tube, and you'll see why. This is what it looks like in the tube when the hose is not submerging the water. There's air bubbles all over the place. Now most of the bubbles clear when you turn the water pump on, but some of them stay in there. And those turn into hot spots that can cause your laser to fail prematurely. Now as soon as you turn it off, all the bubbles return, and that's the reason why you can never get them fully out. And this is once you turn it off. The hose is still above the water line. And you'll see in a second that all the air returns back into the tube. And you can probably tell by now that this is not a good idea. And now look at the difference. Right now the hose is submerged and this is the tail end of the laser tube. There's nothing. This is the front of it, pretty much the same thing. There are still a few bubbles in there, but I think that's because it's still battling the air trapped from when the hose was above the water line. And in conclusion, just buy a flow meter unless you're trying to buy some new tubes. And with this, our educational segment on the Chinese water pump has ended. And as my mom used to say, why don't you go play outside? after you hit that subscribe.